Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining uh, today's webinar. My name is Nikita Devri. I'm a senior digital marketing executive at Crave Infotech. Before we getting started, I'm going to go through some housekeeping to ensure you can interact with myself and the speaker. Firstly, if you wish to ask any question to presenter, we have Q&A section and chat feature enabled. We will also be launching a poll question in today's webinar. We invite you to participate by selecting your responses when they appear on your screen. We will have Q&A session at the end of the webinar to answer your questions. Now I would like to welcome Murli and Ashish. We are glad you could be here today to share your insights on webinar SAP Intelligent Asset Management enabled by Crave Infotech. Murli is Sales and Operations Director for Crave Operations in India. During his 20 plus years of industry serving, he has handled and executed multiple automation projects for pharma, manufacturing, engineering, healthcare, and IT industries. At present, he is working closely with various automation projects in India. We also have Ashish with us. He is Senior SAP Functional Analyst, PM at Crave Infotech, with 10 plus years of industry experience. He is handling various automation projects for different industries like pharma, manufacturing, oil and gas, for the end-to-end -end implementation of plant maintenance mobile solutions. Now, before application briefing and demo, we want to brief in short about Crave corporate portfolio and digital portfolio. So without further ado, I would like to hand over to Muli to start with the presentation. Over to you, Muli. Hello. Thank you, Nikita. Thank you so much. And I welcome you all in today's webinar. Um, Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you, wherever you are, because people are joining from different geographies. So um, uh, as mentioned by Nikita, today's subject is uh, intelligent um, asset management enabled by Crave Infotech. So uh, we will be briefing about the solution and followed by demonstration of the application. So before that, quickly, I just wanted to take a uh, few minutes of yours to brief you about Crave Infotech, who we are, what we do. It will help us for further interaction going forward. So uh, about Crave, we are 15 years old organization, uh, started in 2007. And during this journey of 15 years, we are very closely working with ACP um, um, for various uh, digital initiatives as well as uh, SAP services. So during this journey, we have won some of the prestigious awards. We have won S award. We are, we are also one of the Pinnacle Award finalists um, uh, in one of the solution. So uh, about Crave, as I mentioned, we started in 2007. Today, we already have designed our next three years roadmap with very clear focused uh, strategic approach. Uh, today we are working in SAP, BTP, EAM, EWM, supply chain, these areas, and we have targeted goal of uh, becoming um, premium SAP BTP partner by 2025, along with certain um, headcount also planned. So this is the short story of Crave Infotech. Today we are 150 plus consultants. We have delivered 50 plus large enterprise customers. Uh, partnership with SAP. We are also Zebra premium partner. Zebra is um, a premium mobile computing devices uh, manufacturer and one of the global leaders. We are also a partner of Here Technologies, which is in geo enablement solution. Other partnerships are Amazon Web Services and Google. We also have needful certifications. And I just talked about a few awards uh, during the explanation of the journey of the organization. So uh, Crave Infotech has uh, these five strategic or focused verticals, business verticals, intelligent and asset management, which we will talk today more intelligent warehouse management here we have end-to-end -end solution in warehouse and digital other digital supply chain area 
uh, BTP business technology platform here we are working very closely with SAP as well for certain strategic initiatives globally and intelligent enterprise wherein we mainly work in services so as an organization we have um, products as well as services as I mentioned in services we work in SAP BTP enablement fury enablement uh, SMP to SCP um, initiatives, ERP implementation, customization, migration, support, and staff augmentation. And in products, we have our own 50 plus solutions, which are also available on SAP App Center. These all solutions are developed in Fury. So we do not add any layer over there. We work within your SAP. This is, this is the complete portfolio of the organization. I was just briefing about, we have 50 plus solutions, which are all, they are BTP powered and on uh, SAP App Center as well. So these are some of the, our customers to our credit. We are predominantly working in life science industry, energy, oil and gas utility, CPG, manufacturing and engineering. So coming to uh, today's topic, um, uh, intelligent asset management and the need of that. So before that, we will just cover up certain um, observations at marketplace. So on these slides, we have mentioned some of the challenges in you know, asset services and management. So what we observed is disconnected people, processes and assets across operations affecting negatively the business performance so and these there are certain reasons for that changing roles of manufacturers operators service providers then um, inability to connect data signals from smart assets with maintenance and service processes and these all are you people are observing in the, your day-to-day -day maintenance process so i will not uh, put up more uh, focus on this because you know the challenges i will rather keep my focus more on the solutioning part but just before that i wanted to cover a few things when we talk about maintenance there are three roles we identified in maintenance one is maintenance engineer maintenance planner or supervisor and then plant head and everybody has his own set of challenges for example if we look at maintenance engineer he probably he says that I spend most of my time on data collection and data entry. So his time is getting engaged more and more in administrative or data entry activity. The decisions are based on experience and gut feeling and no system intelligence available for him. Same way, if you look at the supervisor or manager, then his challenges are different. My equipment performance, risk and maintenance data are sitting in silos. Okay, still I'm using traditional practice of time-based maintenance planning. I use system to generate only MIS reports, no system intelligence available for me for actual doing the maintenance. And the plant head challenges are completely different. He has to look at so many things, right? Uh, products scheduling, the um, production scheduling decisions based on equipment health and reliability data. So he want to optimize the cost of production and naturally the maintenance budget decisions are um, um, important and they are based on non-scientific methods today. So these are the challenges of different set of people when we talk about maintenance and that is why Crave uh, comes in the peak. This is the intelligent asset management. Crave uh, uh, as organization will help you or specialist in maintenance will help you to take you through um, from reactive or preventive maintenance to predictive maintenance. These are some of the statistics at marketplace. The 76% organization consider it is important to predict 
potential failure so this is the data though they they understand the importance 83% of the organizations consider it important to have asset management processes and metrics so here again we understand this but what is actual happening only 21% organizations employ predictive and preventive maintenance effectively only 13% organizations are able to drive asset performance based on analysis and real time sensors data so there is no system intelligence available at most of the organizations still and when we we are taking risk when all our production facilities are completely dependent on this maintenance activity so when we talk about asset performance uh, there are four components system of record data acquisition analysis and corrective action so the crew model is working based on that when we talk about system of records we have our own sap right erp in which equipment master bom order processing every calibration everything is there already then the next step is acquiring that data okay so we use certain tools uh, we use um, workforce management collabor uh, collaborative platform iot for acquiring the data we analyze it we massage that data so perform risk and strategy assessment and we use certain tools for that right rcm reliability content man maintenance fmea failure mode and effective analysis and there are so, so some other tools are available and then we take the corrective action by uh, recommendation and corrective action so uh, in the entire maintenance process so crave as a service provider solution expert in maintain asset intelligent asset management comes with complete package of end to end maintenance solution and my friend ashish will brief you about the complete solution he will talk about what components we have the entire process flow and which will be followed by the demonstration of the application so ashish over to you here Yeah, thank you, Murli. Ashish, would you would you like to share your screen or? Yes, I will share my screen. Okay. Do you see my screen? Yes, yes. We okay. can see your screen. Yeah. So, hello, everyone. Uh, regarding this Crave Innovation, so we have end-to-end -end solution for this plant maintenance process. so like we have flexible scheduling which is a part of mrss so we have that as a our product where uh, scheduling of the work can be done then flexible dispatch so based on the skill set it can be assigned to the particular technicians uh, uh, that that one is also available then here like we have uh, based on the am pm fury application available where uh, planner can do the planning activity where planner can assign the work to the available technician based on the skill set or availability then uh, in this web version there will be a part of approvals where multiple approvals like uh, if there is any permit or safety approval required or once the work is done then post approval so those part those features we have available in this planning workbench then we have for the executors or technicians we have mobile applications like most of the industries the maintenance part is carried out on the paper so we have a mobile devices tablet tablet applications where user can do the uh, calibration preventive breakdown those activities on the mobile then these are like we are also working in the sap implementation part end to end sap implementation uh, customer service and sm implementation apart from that we are also uh, working on the like sap work manager and asset manager implementation so we have uh, also the solution for the ai and the sap standard one for the uh, asset intelligence network and this is our pre packaged solution so we have a product called c maintenance so in this c maintenance uh, this solution is Uh, working in both like offline as well as online so like for the web version it will be online where that particular application will be for the planner uh, we called it as a planning workbench 
and the solution which is called c maintenance where all the processes like preventive calibration and breakdown will be available it will work in a both like a web uh, it will work in online as well as in the offline so then for the implementation methodology we have like uh, project initiation project planning and initiation then based on that design thinking then ui ux design and prototyping based on the requirement then whatever the baseline configuration required. So most of the things related to the configuration, we are using the standard PM configuration for this project. And then there will be a project realization testing. And once everything is done, there will be a QAT and go live. So this is the design thinking. Then coming back to the mobile. So how the mobile application will work. So like if you are planning any preventive maintenance activity, so all your master data will be available in the SAP itself. So this block number one denotes all master data where equipment related master data, functional location, uh, planning of the maintenance, that part will be available in SAP itself. So this mobile application is just extension to the your SAP system where all this maintenance activity will be carried out, but all this data will get stored in SAP itself. So this block number two. So once particular technicians log in into this C maintenance application, that person will get the list of orders. Like in SAP, there is a uh, standard T codes are available like IW 38, 39. So it shows the list of uh, list of orders with the maintenance which are available. So all those lists will be available uh, for a technician on the tablet where user can see the list of orders. Then here we have a scenario where planner can assign the particular order to the technician or like some industries there is no planner role only the technician is assigning the work to self and carry executing the activity so we have both scenarios available where planner can assign the work to the technician or technician can self assign the work that i will show in a demo so this will be the online activity then once this assignment done so that particular technician will visit at the production area where the equipment will be available where uh, we have added like some features like pre-approval then equipment verification so that activity user can carry out in a offline as well so pre-approval means like before uh, starting the work the owner of the equipment will provide the digital signature and pre-approval that the equipment is available for the maintenance and you can carry out the activity so that feature is available then we have equipment verified by barcode scan like most of the times multiple equipments or in case of a calibration instruments are available in the plant but uh, 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 the maintenance order is generated for one equipment but user is doing the maintenance of some other equipment so to avoid that one we have added one uh, feature called equipment verification uh, so the particular technician will scan the QR code or barcode available at that particular equipment and the application will auto automate it that it is doing the uh, preventive maintenance of the correct equipment or not. Then block number five where technician can start the work, capture the observation. If you are using the spare part, then you can add the material as well and work confirmation. Then based on it, there will be a post approval. So then order by order technically completion by supervisor. If you are using like a handheld devices, so we have a feature like label printing in case of a calibration and preventive where this uh, tablet will be integrated with the Zebra printers with Bluetooth and from uh, from the production area or site, they can print the label. So once this activity is done, then the person can see the data. So whatever the activity carried out by user in this uh, offline that will be transferred to the SAP and for the audit purpose like uh, for the audit if you required any execution summary report so that will be available in the sap and all this block is configurable like suppose if you required additional approval or additional field so those all parts are configurable so uh, now i will show you in a demo how the application will work So I will give you one example of a preventive maintenance. So once the technician log in into the application, so technician can see the list of orders which are pending for the maintenance. 
so this will be the list and multiple tabs will be available like open orders my orders overdue orders suppose due to some reason if any your overdue order is getting overdue so that will display in a overdue orders tab then here for that particular technician can search it based on any field available like equipment description or status equipment id uh, particular order they can search it then if you require base filter based on the date so they can uh, filter it based on the plan date and on the info there will be additional information available for that particular equipment and all these fields are configurable like based on your business requirement we can add or remove these fields so now i will show you in the execution part how uh, the technician can execute the preventive maintenance using this mobile application so here i am explaining the self assignment scenario where the technician will log in into the application will see the list of orders and can assign the work to self and carry out the maintenance activity but in same cases maybe the planner will be there so same web version application will be available for planner where planner will assign the work to the technician and technician will get only the work which are assigned to uh, that particular person so now suppose i have to do the maintenance of this equipment so i will select this particular radio button so once i have selected it it will get assigned and it will display in my order tab suppose a particular person want to execute the multiple activity multiple uh, preventive maintenance so they can assign the multiple orders as well so now it means this person can work on this particular two orders so now if i want to execute the maintenance of particular equipment then i will click on this row so it will redirect me to that particular equipment order detail screen so whatever right now if you are doing manually on the paper so all those details we can captured here in a digital form where all those details of that particular equipment will be available where it is located what is the current system status mobile status all those details will be available so now here you can see whatever the checkpoints which are available as a part of operation or for to carry out the preventive maintenance activity those all checkpoints will available here in the checklist tab and there will be another tab called material so you, here if you want like any pre plan activity uh, particular spare part required so that you can add and here it will be a history so in the history it will show like last five completed or uh, specific number orders for that particular equipment like which person has carried out the activity on which date which person has attended those details will be available in this uh, history section so now you here you can see in the checklist so all the checklist right now are gray out so here the first step will be the technician need to start the work so whenever the technician will click on the start so it will it will ask for the like if any order is already completed or started that confirmation pop up it will ask if you click on continue then here it will be a, like a business pre approval so it is also configurable maybe in some industry it will required or some industry it is not required because it it is already pre approved so the technician can start the work directly so it is also configurable so here before starting the work the owner of the equipment will enter his credentials and will provide the approval and he can enter the remark so once if the cred enter credentials are correct then it will allow to proceed further then here it will also display the same equipment history to the technician and can start the work so once the work is started then on the confirmation the work will get started and here it will display the time when you are uh, when you have started the work now uh the technician can start the activity of the preventive maintenance one by one so if there is any observation or no observation that they can captured in yes and no suppose for uh, for this particular point if there is some observation and selected it as a no this point is not okay so where you can add the comment
so for suppose this operation i required some spare parts so on uh, from this application itself the user can add technician can add the spare parts so it will be add bomb non bomb so non bomb will show all the material spare parts available in your uh, for your plant that will display here suppose i want bearings so i can select it then for which operations i required then quantity that can be added here and so right now it is working in offline so if you require the reservation number then you need to sync the work then only reservation number will captured here so i will sync here so here you will get the reservation number to issue this particular spare part from the warehouse then same way the technician can uh, capture the remaining point a particular preventive maintenance and once all the points captured then technician can confirm the work and on confirm it will ask for the like digital signature where a person can enter the id password and provide the uh, enter the remark so your order has been confirmed so once the order has been confirmed then the application will not allow to change anything but you can view whatever the remark uh, you have entered that it will be only in a view mode so then once the activity is done by the technician this order will be available for the planner for the sign off or if that particular planner is same person then he can do it from the application directly so on the sign off also it will ask that particular equipment is hand over to the business and they are doing the sign off sign off is nothing but the technical completion of work they can enter the remark and submit it so once it is submitted if you click on the sync then whatever the activity you have executed for this order that will be transferred to the sap and that particular order will get removed from the my order stack so this is for the preventive maintenance execution now for the audit purpose so here this is a total uh, in this whole solution you don't need to use any paper because all whatever the activity carried out by the person will be available in the sap itself where a person can capture the details and here you can see like execution summary where for that particular preventive maintenance order it will show all the details like administrative details if you enter just order number or equipment number it will show you all the executive summary like on which date particular or order was carried out which person has executed so all the audit details will be available in this report like equipment details then location details where it is located then for each checkpoint what was the observations uh, there like it was yes no or not applicable that will be displayed here and then in the bottom like if you are using any spare part then that spare part details will be available then time details like what was the plant da data actual data so in the actual data when that particular maintenance was started at what time it was completed what was the total duration uh for that particular maintenance that will display here and the person which uh, who has attended the particular maintenance that details will be available in the actual section and remarks section in the bottom there will be a signature like which person has performed the activity and reviewed so this is the smart form adobe form based on the data captured through application so it is also configurable maybe at Uh, different organization different format will be used so that particular changes customization can be possible in this particular uh, execution summary report so this is related to the end to end preventive maintenance flow then similar flow we have available for the calibration and breakdown so in case of a calibration in same application uh, everything will be same like open orders my orders Uh, where user can see the list of calibration orders which are open for the execution and here like in case of a calibration you can capture the master instrument so in case of a calibration most of the times the vendors are coming for to carry out the calibration activity so we have a program where you can also maintain the uh, vendor master instruments in the sap 
and those master instruments can be captured at the time of execution in the application. So I will show you one scenario of a calibration as well. So in case of a calibration, all the list will be available. Suppose as a, as a technician, I have to do the calibration of particular instruments. I will select those instruments. Orders which are generated for those instruments that I have selected. It will display in my orders. So in my orders, if I go here, here it will display all the details like instrument description. If it is integrated with the QM module. It, so right now this application is integrated with the QM module. So order is not released. So inspection lot is blank right now, not available. And all these details like calibration range, instrument range, what is the acceptable limit. So that can be fetched from the backend. So it is available here right now. Then here tabs like master instrument, pre-approval, uh, measurements, additional information, review, these tabs will be available. So like before starting an, any calibration activity, suppose I require some master instrument, like if I have to measure the temperature, I will require the thermometer. So that will be my master. So based on that particular instrument, which masters are available, so that will display here in the list. So or suppose I required only this temperature and pressure calibrator for this particular instrument calibration. So that as a technician, I can select it and can add here. So once the master is added, then system will allow to do the release. So right now inspection lot is not there. So I will release it. So once you have released it, so inspection lot number will generate and system will application will direct you for the next step that is the pre approval. So this pre approval as a customization it is available in our product where uh, based on the business requirement it can be uh, configurable. So like suppose as before starting the work I have to take the pre approval from the uh, particular equipment owner so that person can enter his details. And all those details will be captured in the uh, log table where all these details will be available like which person has provided the approval on which date, which time everything will be kept captured. So now this person has provided the approval. Then like as I have explained in the process flow like verify instrument. So like for one equipment multiple instruments are available. So maybe technician is doing selecting the wrong instrument physically for the calibration. So to avoid that one we have added this feature like verify instrument. So if you have like a barcode or QR code available. So those particular instrument QR code you can scan and you can validate that the technician is doing the calibration of the correct instrument or not. If you, are, you don't have any barcode right now. So we have manual option as well where manually instrument can be verified with the whatever the order generated data and once you verify then only it will allow you to start the work. So on start work. So on start work also like we have option like many times uh, calibration like formulations API or some other industry there are different different scenarios are available where they have like conversion required non convergent required. So those options are also available. Then this will be the confirmation to start the activity. So once the activity uh, work is confirmed, then here there will be option like uh, so here we have both options available. Like uh, if you have a fixed point scenario or dynamic calibration. So in dynamic calibration, you will have option to add the more readings in this section. And this is a fixed point. Uh, calibration where all for that particular instruments your point will be fixed and as a technician you have to just enter the reading. So, so here technician can start the calibration activity and will enter the reading. So suppose for this point my low and high value is this but if user is entering the reading uh, outside. So many times happening that user is getting the proper output on the instrument, but at the time of entering the values, they are entering the wrong value. So to avoid that one, we have here provided a feature like you can see at the runtime before the save or before uh, seeing the activity to SAP, the per person can check it is highlighted because it is going outside. So the technician can verify that the enter reading and the value showing on the instrument is correct or not. 
So based on that, the person can uh, check the values and can enter the correct details. Then same way for the second reading, suppose I have to capture on particular 20, but my reading is showing like 20.1. So at the runtime, it will show that particular your reading is going outside your acceptable limit or not. So once all the points captured, then person can save the particular uh, captured sheet that can be saved. And after save, there will be option like additional information. So like receiving condition of the instrument, then what was the room temperature? So these are also optional like configurable fields. And the technician can enter the remarks. And can save it. So once uh, this additional data is saved, then uh, then particular technician can confirm the work. If you are using any material or spare parts, or if you if calibration is failed and you want to replace the instrument, so that material spare part option will also be available here. Now once this is done, then you can go for the confirm and proceed. So work is confirmed. Now as a reviewer, you can just review the activity like what points what reading user a technician has entered and then there will be like multiple reviewers like check by or in some cases the QA will review the activity and then equipment release. So those parts are configurable and is available as a part of a review. So in the review person can enter the name. And enter the ID. Password. And here you can see automatically it is showing that usage decision okay, this instrument can be used because of all your enter readings are uh, within the limit. So by default automatically it will do the usage decision that this instrument can be used. So there is no manual intervention uh, every time based on the enter readings the system will drive that this particular calibration is passed or fail. So this activity is done check by then once check by is done then person can release it. And enter the review uh, enter the remark. And submit it. So once all this done then uh, on the sync, it will update into the SAP. So once I click on the sync, this data, whatever the activity carried out, will update to the SAP, and this particular order will get removed. So here also for this uh, calibration, there will be a like calibration certificate. So you don't need to maintain all this uh, paperwork. So for uh, for the audit purpose, if you want to see or if you want to show that particular uh, execution summary report for that particular instrument or particular order so that directly you can show it in a SAP. So we have like one template which show this execution uh, calibration certificate. So this is the just sample where you, you uh, where you will get with this product where instrument ID instrument uh, tag ID. What is the what was the calibration range? So it will show all the instrument details here. Then uh, in the bottom section, it will show like a master instrument details. So like for performing the calibration activity, which masters you are going to use. So that details will capture uh, here. Then so, uh, which person has calibrated the activity and calibrated by those details will also available here in this section. Then this will be the calibration result. So like if you are entering the five points from the mobile application, so that data will get stored in the system and those will display here in the application. Uh, in the report and like decision it will show based on the if your all readings are within the limit. So then it can show usage decision as a can be used. And whatever the remarks enter. So this is the whole uh, this is the whole execution summary for the calibration. Then like uh, with this product, we have like equipment uh, history card where you can see the history of that particular equipment. So like suppose we have one template for history card. Uh, suppose if we want to see key, what 
which uh, maintenance type you have used maintenance order what was the uh, chart date finish date for that particular equipment how many orders are executed that can be available here uh, in case of a history card so this is related to the mobile application apart from this we have like uh, solutions for the uh, map level like if any industry is, is having the uh, like at multiple locations the maintenance activity so that also can be tracked so we have solution for uh, that activity as well so like uh, here one option is available like hierarchy suppose in case of a breakdown if you have to uh, raise the breakdown based on any notification so we have option of a hierarchy in the application so here i will give you one example like I have an industry and for that I have to check all the equipments which are available so I can search it. So here it will show all the equipments which are available under this particular company or particular functional location and the executor or technician can directly raise the particular create the notification or create the order. Suppose for this I have to create the notification so I will click on this create notification. So by default it will redirect me for the create notification screen where I can select particular create notification. And I can select it as a planner group. Work center if it is related to the mechanic. Then reported by person details priority. and then create it so from this step uh, the technician can raise directly the notification so notification will get created then here map option is also available where on the map the technician can see if any industry is having at multiple locations work so on the map we can show all their assets which are located at particular place and they can track the activity so here like I can see multiple icons are available. So it is showing like my equipment is available at this particular location. So it can show you the direction if you are using it on a mobile as a technician is on the field and you want to see the direction. So it will show the direction or from the field. If there is a breakdown for that particular equipment, they can create the order and create the notification. So this feature is available. Then like maintenance status so we have that features like in most uh, right now there is no use of a label so to avoid the paper if you are using the QR code and if you want to see the history of that particular equipment so uh, with this tablet or mobile application you have to just scan that particular QR code from tablet and based on that so all the history of that equipment will display that one option is available and then timesheet is available there notification management so here all the list of notifications will display for breakdown a user can do the breakdown activity from this screen yeah. that's all nikita yes uh, thank you ashish uh, i'll be uh, before mo moving to q and a session i'll launch the poll questions uh, I request uh, everyone uh, to go through the poll question and submit uh, their responses. So uh, we have four questions. First question is, where do you currently stand in the asset management maturity curve? Uh, options are reactive, preventive, condition-based, and predictive. Uh, second is, uh, are you using a mobility solution for your asset maintenance operations? Third is, uh, are you experiencing any changes in your current asset maintenance operation? And fourth is, are you interested in having a follow-up discussion with our team? So I request everyone uh, to go through the questions and submit uh, the choices. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, we'll uh, go ahead with the q and I think one question uh, was asked and it is already answered. Uh, so I guess we don't have further questions. 
so like uh, we'll share the recording of this webinar once it is available uh, if uh, any of your questions are not uh, answered in the webinar you can still uh, get back to us uh, on our email at contact at uh, i'll put it in the chat yeah so anybody has any further queries you can connect us on the mail id given by nikita and we can have one on one discussion with you um with uh, after understanding the your current landscape challenges pain areas and uh, expectation from automation so thank you so much thanks for joining today's webinar nikita shall we close with this uh, yes we can close the webinar thank you everyone yeah okay thank you